How to get through Inktober. If you're someone like me and have little to no free time to invest on this kind of events, hopefully these tips will help you on how to invest your time and effort appropriately in order to achieve what you want, not only for Inktober, but generally on whatever project you have. I've been participating in Inktober for the past three years approximately, and my first sketches weren't very good. You might think that I'm not used to draw with ink, but the thing is, uh, I'm actually much better with traditional inking than digital, but I was not used to these kind of events, um, which ended up in me doing whatever came out and just to post something and it actually looked quite lazy, upset, except for a few accidents. So I would like to share the knowledge that I've learned through participating these past years, hopefully, um, they will help you on your own Inktober journey. Number one, create a list before Inktober starts. If you're like me and sometimes you're just so tired that your mind is not working at that moment, um, a list will definitely help you save some time from staring aimlessly at the paper and losing precious moments that you could be using on actually producing something on the paper. Uh, create a theme for your Inktober. You like drawing unicorns? Well, draw all sort of unicorns. Uh, let's say fruity unicorns, each day a different fruit. This will make your mind think about all sort of things that now that you narrowed the list, um, it's much easier to come out with. And if you want to do the opposite and draw things you're not used to, write them down, study them beforehand, and then you'll be ready for Inktober. As people, friends, family, watchers, etc., uh, people will always have ideas you haven't thought on your own, and yet uh, you still have the chance to add your own variation to it. Get inspiration. If you don't have this, it's really hard to come out with ideas. How can you expect to create something if you're not looking forward to anything? Watch out other people's art, um, watch the TV, go outside, listen to music. There are a bunch of places you can get inspiration from. Or you can go look at online lists. People create them all the time. Uh, you don't have to make them all from a single list. Pick a few um, from one list and pick a few from another. And then you'll have something to start with. You don't have to upload what you do. Are you shy or insecure? Don't worry, art is still for you. I wasn't always so confident at showing my art to people. Sometimes I'm still not confident enough to show it a lot of, uh, to show a lot of myself because I think it's not good enough or that it sucks. There are also other reasons why people might not participate on Inktober, like a lack of a scanning or photo device or the lack of time to upload. Um, do the art for yourself, whether it's to improve or for other reasons. You must remember that this challenge is for the artist. Make it a treat for yourself. Do the art to get continuity. The more you draw, the better you'll get used to doing it daily. Just like a daily task, watering plants, eating, cleaning, etc. Um, do it to be productive. There are people who have a hard time investing their free time on projects like these, but the thing is, the more you do it, the easier it gets. And this can apply for a lot of things, not only art. You want to write? Fine, write every day, even if it's just a sentence. Even if it's three words, just do it, it'll get easier. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. You know you've been working on it, the progress will show eventually, um, you don't have to upload for anyone but yourself. If you want to share it with the world, we are going to be very happy to see it. But don't think that you owe us anything. Work is hard, discipline is hard, but nothing is at stake if you don't cover all 31 days of October. Do it whenever you can and have fun. Enjoy this. Um, it's a fun activity, even if you can only make one picture from all 31 days. I congratulate you because you already took a great step into participating on it. Do you need to have special equipment in order to participate? No. 
Use whatever you have on hand. You might see a bunch of pro artists with special pens and brushes, tools that seem to be high quality and expensive, but you know what? It's most likely that they were lying around our desks before Inktober, since we like to test with so many things, just to go back to what feels most comfortable for each one of us. Um, some pro artists just prefer ballpoint pens, the same ones that you can get at any corner store for very cheap. And they create amazing things. What I want to say is that no, it's not the tool that you use what creates great art, it's how you use it and how you feel by using it. I sometimes use a gel ink pen whenever I don't feel like using all my fancy stuff because I want to relax and not worry about damaging the tip because it's a pretty sturdy pen. Stuff I've used for Inktober before um, has been fountain pens, nibs, ballpoint pens, fiber tips, roller ball pens, um, gelling brush, rechargeable brushes, my fingers, watercolor markers. Um, you can basically use anything. I think I've also cut a piece of my hair and tried to ink with it as well, hoping it'll get me a very fine line. Prepare things that you want to use beforehand, um, especially if your time is limited. You want to just grab the stuff and begin working. Looking for each stuff each day, taking out and putting away can consume a lot of your time and effort. And this might lead into not feeling like making anything at all. So make sure you have all your papers and pens, etc. on your desk, bed, whatever uh, you use for working, um, ready for the challenge. Choose a time to work in this. A lot of the times you want to do your ink towards right before bed, and although it might work for some, it might not work for you. I used to leave my ink tower for the very end of the day, and some days I was too tired to even think about it. Um, this led this led into quitting very early the first time. I didn't have time. I was tired. I didn't like the outcome. Um, I had no ideas. Um, what has worked for me is to set a definite time to work on my pieces, whether I can only spend 15 minutes on it to a whole hour. I don't want to invest more than the time that I have available. It might take me some time to get adjusted and realize what I can do in this period of time, but this is part of the planning and training. Like I say, the more you do it, the easier it gets. You don't have to do it each day. Don't force yourself to do one piece each day. Um, create stuff at your own rhythm. You can upload three times per week maybe, two times per week, only a single picture in all the Inktober challenge. It doesn't matter if you can do them all. Uh, try to make the amount that feels most comfortable for you. Uh, or what is challenging for you without uh, making you stressed about it. Don't get discouraged. Yes, there are a lot of people who are extremely talented who will also share their ringtobers. My friends and I like to joke sometimes whenever we see someone who seems like a printer and draws from nowhere without references, without a plan, without anything and we're just like flip stable like with art. Actually, they do have a plan, they study beforehand, and their knowledge uh, has been increasing through the years, so that's why they're able to do that kind of stuff without uh, seemingly not having anything to copy from. Um, but anyways, I see it as encouragement. I want to work harder because I want to become a better artist, and it just fires me up. The thing is, once again, this is for yourself. Do it little by little. Do it at your own pace. Do whatever you can, but don't quit. Last but not least, check what works for you and what doesn't. Remember this and next year you'll do much better. And take this opportunity to practice on what you're not good at. And if you like doing this, repeat through all the year. It doesn't have to be in October. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.